to my channel. I am Catherine, and on this channel, I share easy DIYs, home, and encouraging messages. And we are back with episode seven of the Clutter My Rental series. So, if you've been rocking with me this long, thank you so much. If you are new here, you like, wait, what? Click the link down below in my description box to catch it with all six episodes. In this episode, I put together six functional storage and organizational ideas for small space living. And all of these ideas and hacks I've used in the last year, in the last four years, since I was a teenager, and I want to share with you today in this video. The first area that most people need help with is under sink organization. The majority of what's taking up the space under our kitchen sink is literally all of my plant pollution soil. I'm gonna pull this out and put it inside of a bin that I just purchased. I did our under sink area when I also did our kitchen and realized that it needed like its own section. Because under there was not organized. And I also got it this small. I don't want to get anything bigger and feel that I have to keep buying things. So at least I know that all of my plant stuff is in one place. I can also roll it around. I cannot go crazy with organizing in this area due to having multiple pipes in here and needing to always have easy access to our fire extinguisher. So if you have a similar under sink area, the best thing to do is keep it simple. So to organize our kitchen supplies and bottles, I'm using a rotating tray with walls to keep anything from falling out and making it easier to reach for what I need. Again, we're maximizing that vertical space to keep this area neat. And I have the name face on the outside so we know exactly what it is when we need to grab it. I have this old basket I have had for many years and decided to use it under here to keep up sponges, extra towels, and dishwasher cubes. This is pretty much all we keep under here and everything we use. If you find that you are still struggling with space because you have so much, I will first declutter because nine times out of ten, you're probably not using everything under there or you probably have double of something. Maybe think about dispersing it in areas that you use it the most. I call this category hidden storage. I shared a few of these before, but there's too good. Why not share them again? Along with some new hidden storage that I think you all might benefit from. Get pieces that double as storage. And I emphasize that because it's so imperative. If you live in a small space, if you are tight on space, but you still want your space to look decorative, but be functional, get items that double as storage. The first one I'm gonna show you that I've had since last year is this gold patio storage outdoor table. The inside of it is extra storage to put things inside of. Also, we have an ottoman, a three-in-one. So not only does it function as an ottoman that you can prop your legs up on, put things on top of, but on the inside of it is more room. We use it to put the pillows that came with this couch inside of there. And then when you flip over the top, it's actually like a game table. So sometimes when there's like games or we're watching movies or we have food that we're gonna eat in our living room, we just flip this top over and it's another table for us. We're not using the inside of it. I use the top of the ottoman like a coffee table. So I add a tray, floral, candle, coaster. We put our remotes there. So it's literally a three in one functional storage. I'm not saying to go out and buy a whole couch or a big ottoman, but I'm kind of giving you an idea. We've had this couch for the last four years. Once we saw the ottoman that came with it, we were like, oh yeah, this is great because we need all the storage we can get. But the next time that you are looking for storage or furniture pieces, maybe look for something that has a dual function to it. Most people prefer baskets and I prefer crates. Well, I have some baskets in here as well. In some cases, I prefer crates over baskets. These are crates that I put inside of our bookshelf and these are the larger of the sizes. And I've had these for over six seven years and every time I've moved I used them for a different reason. I had them at my best friend's wedding. I've used them to prop them up like shelves during Christmas and now I have them in our bookshelf. And I love that they're large and they're rectangular because we have games and card games and stuff in there and they're all in boxes. So when you put them in here, they just fit perfectly. And then the other one I have some wedding photos and some miscellaneous items and I'm leaving them down here because they work. 
and they have so much more room in them for me to add more things to it. Sometimes we have the habit of doing the same exact thing we saw our parents do or saw someone do when we were growing up. And one example of that, I've always seen my mom use a specific place to warm up food. It's considered now a storage and it is the under stove storage. At one point in time that little storage area underneath your stove was either a boiler or a place that you put food so that your food can remain warm or you can heat it up. And I know that because I recall like it was yesterday that my mom would make toast and then she'll put that toast in that storage area but it would keep it warm. But I think since then, a lot of the stoves now just use it as additional storage. But I would just check your stove, call your leasing office, ask them a bunch of questions. But I know for us, it's simply just a storage underneath our stove. For our stove drawer that you pulled out, is it storage or can you heat things up in that? I use mine for storage, but you can use it for um like a broiler like if you're gonna make like fish or something or a steak you just want the to top to cook yeah really um, my, i've seen my mom do it growing up me too me too I find it for like my baking sheets or my cast iron you can just use it as a regular broiler yeah. oh my gosh okay thank you so much <laughs> i was today years old when i learned <laughs> for real <laughs> okay something i did not know we can use this storage also as a broiler Call your leasing office and ask them because she said like she used hers as a storage and we use our just as storage as well. But I had no idea that this stove in this apartment actually heats it up. It's so cool. I'm going to report back to y'all on Instagram um, if you can really heat something down there because I think that'll be really cool. We have the tiniest coat closet, but I'm just grateful we have a coat closet. But it had everything in here, light bulbs, devices to things, vacuum, room everything i picked up these storage baskets this is september currently and target had i think 15 or 20 percent off of storage baskets since getting the dyson it came with so many parts i put this up here to remind me to get baskets we eventually need to just hang this up on our wall in the meantime it's gonna go in the storage basket too we also have like some extra batteries and this fan um texas we have a lot of outages really trying to get like a safety kit an emergency kit together and put it in our coat closet mm -hmm. So organized and clean. Ask is always hot things. I grew up where you just take your broom, your mops and stuff, and just put it in the corner somewhere. This got really cluttered, so as I was decluttering, I really wanted to find a space that I can put our broom. And I wanted to use our vertical space, this door, so I thought it'd be a great idea to put it up here. So I got this broom gripper. And then use your thumb, and I have my index behind the broom to rotate it out. Do not try to pull this broom out. It has a strong sturdy grip. Pray that if you try to pull it out without any extra support, it may just tear off your wall. So just be careful with that. Um, but the grip is a 10 out of 10. This is fun. We are no strangers to hooks. I started adding hooks to our home initially in my husband's sunroom office. If you guys seen that video, it's the tiniest office ever. To maximize the space, and I decided to add hooks to the wall because he wanted that space not only to be his office, but to also play his video games in. He can add his controller or put his headphones on there. I decided to use those same hooks in our made up entryway area <laughs> so that we can have space for my bags, umbrella keys mask anything else that we needed so i would say do not be afraid to add hooks hooks are just a universal storage very easy to assemble inside of your space if you need more room to put things on the wall to use that vertical space and this last one is for our pets so we cannot forget about them I had my dog for eight years now in the first couple of years i was buying like these six pound bags of food and i feel like financially 
that was burdensome because <laughs> he was going through that food fast. Soon my husband came to the rescue with this pet storage food container. What I love about this bin is that it has an airtight lock and snap lid to keep the food fresh and is huge and is on wheels, which is super helpful. So now we buy him about 30 pound bag of food, pour it inside of there, grab the little cup to give him his food, and close it and it keeps all of his food fresh and because it's 30 pounds of food in there because it's so heavy and i can move it around having it on wheels is super accessible and if we have the closet space for it like in our pantry or the cold closet let's say we can just roll it in there but we just keep it on the side of our island so those are the categories let me know down below if any things are new to you or if they surprise you or if you're going to try them inside of your home watch more episodes of the clutter my rental series you can click the link down below in the description box Thank you all so much for being here. I am so grateful for you. And as always, y'all, I will talk to you all later.